So here's a uh, an article, technical article, evidence supporting biological evolution. And one of the first lines of evidence that they point to, Dr. Dino, is the fossil record. And so I wanted to read a, a few sentences from here and then give your, your thoughts on it and get your thoughts on it. So here we go. Although it was Darwin, above all others, who first marshaled convincing evidence for biological evolution, earlier scholars had recognized that organisms on Earth had changed systematically over long periods of time. For example, in 1799, an engineer named William Smith reported that in undisrupted layers of rock, fossils occurred in a definite sequential order. And we, he we hear this all the time from proponents of common descent, uh, Kent, with more modern appearing ones closer to the top. And so they're going to interpret that as farm, fish, amphibian, reptile, mammal, and then humans being at the top. So essentially, you got your fish to fisherman evolutionary sequence there. And so they say here, because bottom layers, and this is what I really want us to address, because bottom layers of rock logically, so they think this is logical, Kent, were laid down earlier and thus are older than top layers. The sequence of fossils also could be given a chronology from oldest to youngest at the top. Kent, what are your thoughts on, on this, brother? Well, there's quite a few errors in there. First place, when you find fossils in the ground, all you could really prove is it died. You could not prove it had any children at all. You sure couldn't prove it had different children. No animal today is capable of producing babies other than their same kind. And they're going to argue about what a kind is, okay? They know what their kind is. Maybe you don't, but they do, okay? So, and finding fossils in the, in the ground, in the rock, is not proof for anything for evolutionary change. They got several flaws in their logic here. There is no fossil record, okay? There are fossils. Trillions and trillions of fossils. If you want to count diatoms, probably quadrillions of, of fossils, okay? But there's not a record. It goes back to this stupid law of superposition they made up that the top layer has to be younger than the bottom layer. They're assuming the layers form vertically, when actually the layers form horizontally with tidal, the water moving back and forth. We could, there's a great video about that, experiments in stratification. So the fossil record, the, the law of superposition is not a law at all. It's not even true. So they say the top layer is younger than the bottom layer. Their whole evidence is based on that stupid geologic column. There is no geologic column, none. They keep saying the layers are different ages. I say, guys, I got a question. If the layers are different ages, Where's the top one coming from? This, this is the atheist Bible, their crazy fossil record. And the geologic column, if the, if the Holocene dirt is only 10,000 years old and the uh, proto protozoic dirt is 2.5 billion years old, where was all the Holocene dirt hanging out for 2.4999 billion years? Every speck of dirt on the planet is the same age. Whether it's 6,000 or 6 trillion, doesn't matter. It's all the same age. There's no such thing as a fossil record. So I think there are several flaws in there. And they're saying the simple ones are on the bottom, the fossil sorting. Well, I cover that on my videotape. They'll say, well, clams are found at the bottom because clams are simple and they, are, they evolve first. And birds are found on top because they evolve last. This is their logic, OK? Guys, clams are found at the bottom because they're already at the bottom when the flood starts. That's where they live. Of course, they're the first ones buried. Got nothing to do with evolution. And birds are found on top because birds are the last ones to drown in a flood. They could fly around till they run out of gas, and then they, when they do die, they float. They have hollow feathers, hollow bones. So the sorting of the fossils, it is a little true that there is a little bit of sorting. That's normal, natural. Shake up a jar of dirt, rocks, gravel, sand, et cetera, and, and water, and it'll settle into layers. It has nothing to do with time. It has to do with density. I think, I think the animals are sorted based a little bit, sorted a little bit based upon their habitat, where they live. That would determine how, they're, how fast they're buried, based upon their mobility. You know, clams can't run very fast, based upon their intelligence. As far as anybody knows, clams aren't too smart, and based on body density. Clam shells are a little heavier than bird feathers. So, of course, clams are found at the bottom of the so-called geologic column. This is a petrified closed clam. Hmm. Petrified in the closed position. I think it would have to be buried alive and buried fast. We have hundreds of them here at our dinosaur adventure land in Lenox, Alabama. 
<clears throat> they find petrified closed clams on top of Mount Everest. There was a worldwide flood. Now, I don't think the water was over Mount Everest. Mount Everest wasn't there during the flood. At the end of the flood, Psalm 104 tells us, the mountains arose, the valleys sank down, and the water rushed off. So the mountains came up toward the end of the flood, and now the water from the flood is still here. It's in the oceans. They're huge. There's enough water in the oceans right now to cover the whole world a mile and a half deep, 8,800 feet. So, yeah, the flood explains all the fossils, explains the why there's layers to the earth at all. All these layers form because of the sorting of the water by water moving sideways. There's no such thing as a geologic column. I keep asking them, and they never answer my question. Uh, if the top layer is younger, where did it come from? Did it come from outer space? How can the top layer be younger? They never answer. They go to a new topic. Where did the Holocene dirt hang out for 2.499999 billion years? Where was it? If the, if the Protozoic and the Archean dirt is 2.5 billion years old, so is the Holocene and the Pleistocene. It's all the same age, guys. There is no geologic column, none. Each of those layers was formed by a different, by the tide, the moon pulling the water up and down with calling the water to rush back and forth. It's a sideways movement of the water that made all the layers, not new, a new time frame. That's a stupid geologic column does not exist. The law of superposition is not a law at all. Not even common sense. Tell them I said so. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let them know right now in the live chat as we have several evolutions there. So with Good. what you're saying, Kent, Correct me if I'm wrong, with the water essentially moving back and forth or horizontally, then these layers can therefore form horizontally. There's a video you uh, recommend people check out experiments in stratification. And so basically this so-called law of superposition, it's not really a law at all, is it? It's not even true. Hmm. Tell you what, if I get this sand art toy and flip it over and make 20 or 30 layers in here, are the layers different ages? Every grain of sand was put in here at the same time. Right. They're all the same age. The moving water and gravity and hydrologic sorting, there's several factors involved here. The particle shape, how, fr how much friction it has with the water as it, as it rolls around. There's lots of factors that would make it stratify into layers, the density. And so, <clears throat> no, all the layers are the same age. There is no geologic column. But I tell you, they're going to get mad when you say that, and I don't care. Okay? That's because <laughs> that's their Bible. Yes. That is their Bible. They don't mind attacking our Bible, but their Bible is the stupid geologic column. There's no such thing as a geologic column. Petrified trees are found all over the world standing up, connecting all these layers. Each layer is a different tide, six hours, 12 and a half minutes apart. It has nothing to do with millions of years. Petrified trees in the standing position are found all over the world, thousands of them. They run right through these layers that they're claiming are different ages. I'm sorry, guys, your geologic column is stupid does not exist. There's no such thing as a Jurassic age or Triassic or Mississippi. And or, it's all, it's all baloney. All over the world, petrified trees are found standing up, running through multiple layers, even through multiple seams of coal. Now Yellowstone, Specimen Ridge in Yellowstone has 27 consecutive layers of forests. Well, the moon pulling the tide up and down with the water drifting back and forth, back and forth for seven months during Noah's flood, is gonna make all these layers in, in a few hours. Not millions of years. So I'm sorry. I don't, I don't buy the geologic column. That doesn't happen. No Joggins, Nova Scotia, but Canadian. Canadian, eh? You got all kinds of petrified trees standing up. Why do they always say A when they're done talking? Do you know why A? Eh? It's ge it's genetic, I guess. Us Canadians. Okay. Built, it's it's front-loaded into our systems, eh? Okay. <laughs> we like to say a boot as well. How a boot, yeah. How a boot that gel. How about that geologic column, Ken? So what you're yeah. saying is the geologic column is their Bible. And oh, yeah. so when you take away the geologic column, as you've done, you take away the entirety of their argument from the fossil record, like we're seeing in this article. Well, there's no fossil record. There are fossils, right. but they're not a record. They don't talk and there's no date on them. You can put a date on them if you'd like. So can I. I think all the fossils are 4,400 years old, formed at Noah's flood, all of them. So I just put a rate, I put a date on them. Yeah, you know, and they like to ask, oh, why don't we find humans and dinosaurs together in the fossil record? Well, I've noticed one thing, Kent. We don't find whales in the coelacanth fish that they assumed went extinct 65 million years ago, and yet they find it swimming in the ocean today. 
And so whales and coelacanth both live in the oceans. We don't find them together. And you like to point out, we don't find humans and chickens together in the same layer. But you know what? You probably had chicken tonight for dinner, didn't you, brother? Yesterday, yeah. But yeah, we Yesterday. got chickens running around our barn right now. Never find Everything. human and chicken fossils together or footprints together. That's proof. Humans and chickens did not live at the same time. That's their logic. That's, that's their logic. Okay, well, that's very good, brother. Let's let's continue here and see what else they have in turn. You know, I, I should ask you this because I know this is what the evolutionists would say. Oh, Kent, where do we get the uh, the new layers from? Where, where, where do we get the new strata from? They'll say either erosion or volcanism. So you'll get uh, igneous rock formed that way. You'll get new layers or one uh, layer will erode and deposit into another area and build layers that way. Is this answering the question, where do the new layers come from, brother? No, it's the same dirt being moved somewhere else. It's the same age. How does that change the age of it? If I shuffle yeah. a deck of cards, does that make the top card younger? No, they're all the same age. Moving it from here to here does not change the age of it, guys. They're totally missing the point deliberately, I think. They're either deliberately lying about it or they're real stupid and can't figure it out. Every speck of dirt has to be the same age. You can't tell when it was laid down. Can you shuffle a deck of cards? Can you tell me when the top card was laid down? If nobody saw it, I walk in, pick up a deck of cards. I got one here somewhere. How do I know? Do I know that layers are different ages? The cards are? No. So I'm sorry. There is no geologic column. Try again, guys. So I predicted correctly. Here we go from the chat, Aaron. I appreciate it. He says, erosion forms the particles that sediment is made of, and it happens over millions of years, I'm assuming, is what I ah. want to say. Well, Aaron, I live in a gravel pit. I can show you after a good rain, erosion happens real fast, okay? It can happen incredibly fast. Watch Mount St. Helens when it exploded back in 1980. The erosion was incredible around there. So don't tell me erosion takes millions of years. We don't know that. You can certainly know that it does not take millions of years. It takes water, and it's totally dependent on all kinds of factors. You know, Is the water acidic? Is the water moving fast? The speed of the water determines its erosional power. That's why we have breaks to slow the water down coming down a big hill. You got to put piles of rocks every, every 20 feet. The water hits it, slows down, hits it, slows down, and it has less erosional power. So the erosional power of water is directly proportional. I'm sure there's a formula to how fast it's going and how much water there is and what it's eroding through. Is it eroding through granite? Is it eroding through sand? We, I live in a gravel pit. Come see the erosion we got after the rain this morning. We got a guy full time out there on the tractor plowing, trying to keep the roads manageable, plowing or leveling them out because of the erosion. So no, and it's the same dirt. It's being moved from here to here. That's not changing the age of it. I'm sorry, there is no such thing as a geologic column. There's a hillside in France. Let's see, where is this one? Uh, saint Atin, France. They have petrified trees upside down, running through the layers. Wait, wait, wait. Did the tree grow the wrong way for millions of years, looking for sunlight, got confused? I know the French are confused on a couple things, but the trees aren't, I don't think. I think they would grow still toward the sunlight. Petrified trees in the vertical position, upside down. Sorry. They're, they're confused. There is no geologic column. And the layers are each one is a different tide. And the water moving sideways would form all the layers in one year. Watch the video, Experiments in Stratification. They show it clearly in, the, in uh, Colorado University of how the moving water makes 10 or 15 layers at the same time. So the top layer is not younger than the bottom layer. If the current's flowing this way, there might be different age going this way, but not this way. Sorry. Just watch experiments and stratification. Now, I know some of you are some of the atheists are not going to even watch it because they love their geologic column. They would not consider right. even challenging it. They love it. So go ahead. Stay stupid all your life. <laughs> so is this analogous to if in the wintertime it's snowing? I don't know if you get a lot of snow over there, Kent, but we certainly do here in Canada. And I go outside to shovel the snow from one spot to another. Let's say on the driveway, I'm moving the snow off the driveway onto the front lawn. That's just moving that material from one place to another. It's not actually creating new material or new layers. Would right. that be an appropriate analogy for what? Yeah, it's the same snow. We yeah. get a lot of rain, but we don't have to shovel it down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, uh, very good.